Russia hits Ukraine's railways and it relates to U.S. assistance. Russian forces have targeted Ukrainian National Railway Carrier of Cargo and Passengers facilities following the announcement by the United States of a new package of military aid to Ukraine. And this is no coincidence, stated Ukrainian military expert Oleksiy Hetman. According to RBC Ukraine, on April the 25th, railway infrastructure in the Donetsk, Cherkasy and Kharkiv regions came under Russian strikes. Specifically, Russian forces shelled the railway station in Balaklia in the Kharkiv region where a train with passengers was stationed. As a result of the shelling in the Donetsk region, three railway workers were killed and four were injured. Three more employees, Yuka Zaliznitsia, were injured in the Kharkiv region. Another enemy attack damaged the railway infrastructure in the Cherkasy region. Fortunately, there were no casualties. According to Hetman, Russian attacks on Yuka Zaliznitsia facilities are evidently linked to a new package of military aid from the USA. It is not just speculation. A few days ago, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said that aid should be sent to Ukraine and they supposedly know the routes through which this aid will be moved. They even know warehouses where we are planning to store the aid. And he promised to obstruct so that this aid does not reach the front line. So it's not a coincidence, he explained. However, according to the expert, Shoigu is lying when he says that Russia has information about how and where American military aid is being delivered. If they knew, they would have attacked long ago. They can only speculate. So destroying the railway, I think, is to scare us, people inside the country, that they will somehow stop this aid and to tell inside Russia that they have another victory. Hetman said, recall on April the 24th, the USA announced a new $1 billion military aid package for Ukraine. President Joe Biden promised that arms deliveries to Ukraine would begin within a few hours and earlier reports indicated that some of the aid was already in Europe. The new package of military aid includes artillery shells, missiles for air defense systems and a lot of armored vehicles, including Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. Additionally, in March to April, the USA secretary transferred over 100 ATA CMS missiles to Ukraine, which can fly up to 300 kilometers. The United States is poised to send a $1 billion in new military aid package for Ukraine, U.S. officials said on Tuesday. The aid package is the first tranche from about $61 billion allocated for Ukraine. Speaking on condition of anonymity, U.S. officials said some of the weapons would be delivered very swiftly to the front line, adding that it could take longer for other items to arrive. The announcement comes after Biden's comments on Monday during the call with Volodymyr Zelensky that the U.S. would send the much-needed air defense weapons once the Senate approved the bill. It includes much-anticipated ammunition, including air defense munitions and large amounts of artillery rounds as well as armored vehicles and other weapons. Weapons and ammunition in the new aid package include RIM-7 and AIM-9M missiles for air defense, Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, small arms and additional rounds of small arms ammunition, including zero. 50 caliber rounds to counter unmanned aerial systems, UAS, additional ammunition for high mobility artillery rocket systems, HIMARS, 155 mm artillery rounds, including high explosive and dual purpose improved conventional munitions rounds, 105 mm artillery rounds, 60 mm mortar rounds, Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, mine resistant ambush protected vehicles, Humvees, logistics support vehicles, tactical vehicles to tow and haul equipment, tube launched, optically tracked, wire-guided missiles, javelin and at four anti-armor systems, precision aerial munitions, airfield support equipment, anti-armor mines, claymore anti-personnel munitions, demolitions munitions for obstacle clearing, and night vision devices, spare parts, field equipment, training munitions, maintenance, and other ancillary equipment. It should be noted that the United States has so far committed over $44.9 billion in security assistance to Ukraine since the beginning of the Biden administration.